Franklin's partner. Franklin has lots of good friends. They all like to play the same games. Their favorite was Bumpy Buggies. One day, they came up with a great idea. They would hold a special Bumpy Buggy race, and everyone in town could join in the fun. Franklin and his friends made a poster to promote the big event. Bear hung it up outside Mr. Mole's store. Mm, a bumpy buggy race. That sounds like fun, said Mr. Mole. It's going to be lots of fun, said Franklin. But you have to make a buggy. And you need to have a partner, too, said Bear. Every team needs someone at the top to push and someone at the bottom to catch. Franklin and Bear really wanted to win the race. They decided to fix up their old buggy. Maybe a new paint job, said Franklin. Let's put a siren on top, like an ambulance, added Bear. A siren? Ah, oh, Bear, don't be silly, said Franklin. Franklin and Bear finally decided that the buggy needed new parts. They knew just where to get them. From Fox's dad. Oh, look, the wheel fell off. Franklin and Bear went to Fox's house. He and his father were making music with an old chime and a garbage pail. Hey, guys, said Fox. What are you doing here? We need some new parts for our bumpy buggy, said Bear. Could we look through your collection of stuff, Mr. Fox? asked Franklin. Sure, said Mr. Fox. Come on, Bear, said Franklin. Let's look for something to make our buggy super coolio. Thanks, Mr. Fox, said Bear. Franklin found some blue jar lids. He thought they'd make great new wheels. Hey, Bear, shouted Franklin. How about these? Bear ignored Franklin. He climbed into a bathtub filled with junk. Inside, he found an old airplane. Look, yelled Bear, wings! We could make the buggy fly! Bear, buggies don't fly, said Franklin. We'll try it with wings, said Bear. If it doesn't look good, We'll do your wheel thing. Bear attached the green wings to the buggy. Let's call our buggy the Mean Green Speedmobile, he said. The Mean Green Speedmobile, asked Franklin. Yeah, said Bear. Look, I have to go. You hang on to the Speedmobile. Franklin grabbed the buggy and frowned. He did not like the changes Bear had made. Back home, Franklin decided to fix the buggy the way he wanted. As he was putting the finishing touches on it, Bear came to visit. What happened, said Bear? You took off the wings. It's a rocket now, said Franklin. And since Sam will ride in it, I've named it Sam's Rocket. But Franklin, we're partners, said Bear. That means we decide stuff together. We didn't decide on wings or mean green speedmobile together, said Franklin. You decided all that stuff. If that's what you think, then maybe we shouldn't be partners, shouted Bear. Maybe we shouldn't, said Franklin. Bear stomped out of the shed and slam the door shut. Franklin was upset. He took Sam's rocket and went for a walk to calm down. At the top of Thrill Hill, Franklin tripped and dropped the buggy. It sped downhill straight for the big rock. Suddenly, Bear appeared. He dove into the path and grabbed the buggy. 
Franklin was relieved when he saw the buggy was safe. He got up and ran down to Bear. I'm sorry, Bear, said Franklin. I should have listened to you. That's okay, Franklin, said Bear. I should have listened to you, too. The two friends shook hands. Let's start over, said Franklin. But this time, we'll decide things together. Deal? Deal, partner, said Bear. The next day, Franklin and Bear arrived at Thrill Hill with their spiffed up bumpy buggy. The two friends had decided to call it Sam's Speedmobile. All the racers got ready. One partner stood at the starting line. The other waited at the finish. Ready? Steady? Go! yelled Officer Rabbit. The contestants pushed their buggies, then cheered as they watched them fly down Thrill Hill. It was a close finish, but Goose and Beaver won the race. Wasn't that great, yelled Bear as he ran down to Franklin. Great, asked Franklin. We lost. Lost? Who cares, said Bear. Did you see how Coolio our buggy looked? You're right, Bear, said Franklin with a laugh. <laughs> I never saw a more Coolio buggy in my life. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the story and thought it was Coolio. <laughs> I love you guys. Thanks for watching. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now.